Okay guys, I just wanted to make a video about why you shouldn't surrender a game until it's truly over. Now, uh, I'm gonna, this is actually going to be the full game, but I'm going to have it speed up so uh, so you don't have to like sit through uh, th uh, th uh, almost 40 minutes of game time. But yeah, um, it's going to look good in about a minute, but uh, after that's going to look really, really bad. Now, in this game, I'm playing Thresh. I'm supporting because, you know, supporting is, like, the job to do if you ever want to just sit around and do nothing all game and get carried by your teammates. But it goes really well. Uh, I'm surprised it's not... There we go. Okay, I pull a grab on the Karma, and uh, we go really hard here. The uh, the number of fudges I give is zero. And I think we first blood karma here with a good pull. No, it was twitch, and then we got karma. I don't know. I just play really forward here. Yep, got him. Here's twitch. And I actually lag. It should, it should go back to me in a minute. I'll just click me since I know what's going to happen. Yeah, I get into this bush over here. And then I lag. So I don't actually see me land this hook. But I landed it and I guess Vayne got the double. And that looks really good. But it quickly goes very bad. We both heal up, go back, you know, proper etiquette. Apparently Lee Sin gets a kill in top. Uh, I'm going to go back to directed camera. D, I think. We got Jax down here for a gank, and I missed my pull, so kind of sucked. Scrimmage goes on for a while. And I think Vane. I'm pretty sure I remember getting mad at Vane. Aw. Yeah, that's why I got mad at Vane. Step back. 15 seconds. Of my, yeah, I'm on Vayne. Okay. Now here. We're obviously in a very bad spot. Vayne's really forward. She thinks she can kill him, but it's two against one. And I gave out the lantern to help her out. Vayne winds up dying. I try to get the uh, finishing blow. Twitch goes invisible, so I don't see him. He comes back, cleans me up. We both die. And that was just really bad. It gets worse though. Speed, uh, I don't know, eight times is a bit too much. Stick like four times. Uh, I should take off Vayne though. Yeah. And in chat, uh, Ziggs is complaining that he needs Oriana, uh, needs Jack's gangs. So I'm pretty sure the Ziggs is like 0 2. Yeah. 0 2, about to be 0 3, maybe? No? Okay. We get Dove. I get a retribution kill on Twitch from the tower, but we still lose both of us at bottom lane. Karma gets out safe. Now, at this point in the game, Twitch is 3 3, Vayne is 2 2. Our mid lane's losing bad. It doesn't look good for us. Apparently, Oriana solo steals red buff. I didn't even notice that in the game. It looks bad, but it's not too bad. It's easily it's an easily recoverable game. It's not something I would surrender for. I don't surrender in ranked at all, but it's not something I would surrender for. Period. 
Not even the normals where it doesn't matter. Just keep playing this out. Um, Twitch gets away with the stupid stealth. Eventually, I'll get. Eventually, I'll get the bright idea to buy a uh, sweeping lens, like the Udri has. To hopefully, uh, help that out. Uh, I'm pretty sure I noticed Twitch going for me. Uh, it's, it's going too fast. Uh. I'm gonna talk about the important things. Ziggs is getting wrecked in mid. He's is one four. Although still at this point, I would say this game is easily recoverable. We're only down four thousand gold, three thousand gold, and actually, no, this isn't what I thought. I play really forward and give our gank away. So we weren't able to get that twitch. Pretty sure Lee Sin dies here. No, he doesn't. Okay. But our bottom lane's getting wrecked. If you see the CS scores, actually, um, I'll move the champions to their roles. And get an idea of what we're working with. Vayne's keeping up with Twitch, but Twitch has a finished item, and Vayne's not buying Bork at all. Well, she might be, but she isn't. I I know. I think Twitch kills me. Yep. Um, they get the Vayne, maybe. Yeah, pretty sure they get the Vayne. No, they don't. Oh well. Twitch and his BS stealth mechanics. Now here I get the bright idea to uh, try to get Lee Sin back in the game. I box under tower. He can't get away from tower. Lee Sin gets some more free farm. I want Lee Sin to get back in this game because he's sort of uh, losing a bit. And I think now is when Vayne decides that her best bet is to solo farm bot lane. While I roam everywhere else. Except I roam bottom to help out. Oh, we got them both. And then the Vladimir teleports in. He kills Vayne. Still, at this point in the game, it's still in anybody's game. Even though, like, their Twitch is 4 4, our Vayne is 4 3. Okay, 4-4 four, four, and 5-4. The surrender call is going to come out pretty soon. I'm not sure if the stream, uh, the, uh, I'm not sure if the replay will show that. Let's keep this going. Apparently we decided to make a play in top lane. Still anybody's game. Yep, we make a big play in top Pain gets soloed. The first of many times. I steal red buff from our jungler. Like a good support. Now actually looking back at this game, it looks a lot more even than than I remember it. Because I remember us being on our back foot the entire game. Oh, there's Twitch killing Vayne by himself again. Now my idea in this game right now is to, and it has been for a couple minutes, it's been to catch up on gold, get the items to help my team out. I put the box up here, pretty sure we all get aced, yep. Two for five, and the surrender call is going to come out when Vayne dies in bottom lane in like a minute. Or a few. Okay, yeah, there it is. Vayne gets soloed by Twitch again. 
And then Vane calls for surrender. Uh, I guess that doesn't show up in the stream, in the, not the stream, the replay. But the vote went 3-2. And thank goodness it did, because if it went through, we would have lost a, a game that we sort of had. We're down by 8,000 gold at this point. Uh, 9,000 actually. And it's looking really bad. At this point, we're just trying to get really good team fights to get back in the game. Oh, wow. That's one, one time already. What we, um, what we needed was for Jackson Lee to get farmed enough. Oh, here's Vane dying to twitch again. Um, we need Vane, not Vane. We need Jackson Lee to get farmed enough that they can dive their back line. And we need Vane to get farmed enough so she can do her Vane thing. And it's it's really rough right now. But we have Jax scales well into late game. And actually, I'm going to go back to that. Lee gets vision of Twitch in the jungle. And we all collapse in on that. Killing Twitch gets us the shutdown gold. Killing Udri got us the shutdown gold. I... I mess up my box there and my pull. We decide not to chase because chasing is what um, loses games in low elo. Chasing is like the worst thing you could do unless you're like, unless you know where people are. Karma has early Andres at this point and it's really painful. We don't force it down on this push, we get it the next push. And Jax is split pushing because we need the. Uh, Vision. Oh, it looks like Oriana called for assistance. From the all chat, it uh, seems that their team was raging at the, uh, the Oriana for not banning Jax, because Jax is really starting to roll this game. 11 5. I still haven't gotten the bright idea to buy an Oracle Sweeper. Wonder when that's going to happen. And the game's only about 8 minutes longer. Which should take me about two minutes at four times speed. They push in on an inhibitor. Pretty sure we win this fight too. Jax is going to start his counter strike in a sec. Why is it following? Okay, whatever. I pull Vlad, I initiate, box, everyone, I have zero focus in this fight, I'm pretty much just attacking anyone on the back line. Vayne is strong enough to kill people though. Wow. Vayne and Jax at this point are ready to win us the game. Vayne never bought Bork this game, see? She only bought the, um, she went for the Bloodthirster Phantom Dancer build. Uh, I don't necessarily agree with it, because they have a Vladimir and Udir, but I guess it's okay, because it gives you more consistent damage instead of HP damage. We get, we get a catch-up dragon. See, we were down by, uh, and I think it was 9,000, like, five minutes ago. Now we've about equalized that gold. Never count yourselves out until the uh, very end. Okay, Twitch, I, I got the right idea to get the sweeper lands now. And I'm pretty much just waiting for the next fight. I warded up Baron a while ago. Because I didn't want them to take it blind. Would have won them the game. We catch Vlad out here. He calls for backup. I get into the... Oh, looks like they take care of main. But I'm pretty sure I get into the middle of the frayed box. Fail box from the looks of it. And Jax and I just sort of go for it. They try to clean up the karma. I think I some called them to stop chasing this one. Okay, they're going to keep chasing that. 
But yeah, when uh, that's why you don't chase. Like, look, we got an um, inhibitor turret instead of chasing down that kill for four people. I mean, inhibitors are worth more than kills, believe it or not. Even though you only get 50 gold for getting the last hit on the inhibitor. Um, I'm pretty sure I pinged bottom turret, or Jax did, because we want to get that down. And now it's not about gold as much as it's about just pressure. We don't even need the Baron. Looks like they pinged the Baron because they want to go for it, but they can't go for it because we have super minions streaming into their base. And, oh, okay, one time speed. Twitch tries to go for uh, the team, but I guess he doesn't feel comfortable being that far forward. Oh, this is a great fight. I remember this fight quite well. Uh, I tell them to come back, but uh, I guess we decided to stay for the fight, so I tried to get a hook over this uh, this tear-shaped wall. Vayne's playing forward. Jax gets into the fray. And I pretty much just ignore Vladimir, because Vladimir's not my problem. I'm all about the back line, Chase. Twitch Udri. I can't let Udri get the uh, vein because if he does, Vayne's going to have a problem. Can't let him get the Ziggs. Ziggs is going to have a problem. Despite our backline having some sort of built-in escape, I want to keep everyone off of my carries. I missed that book. And here we just siege up while Lee split pushes top. Without the jacks, I'm a little wary about fighting under tower. I'm trying to focus the tower down to, so we can fight them, because I'm sure Vayne can handle it. She stands against the wall. Oh wow, she got a good shockwave. And Vayne cleans up. And then I decide to get the soul, because I'm smart. I shouldn't have stayed there. It turns out not being a problem. Uh, let's go through the vein. Like, here, Twitch, like, I can get these two, 2v1. Two and he was somewhat right, but I blew my, uh, I blew my shield on Vayne. It didn't really matter too much. She, she got out with plenty of health. But he thought he could 2v1. He made a very bad play. We wind up just getting more kills. Vladimir can't carry by himself. Udir. At this point, Udir is trolling. He got mad that Jax wasn't banned. So he says, I'm going to go for the, the touchdown. And I don't let him have the touchdown. At all. Another... He got close. And from here, you can guess what happens. We uh, win the game. Don't don't surrender a game. Especially when you have late game uh, scaling champions. And here we just make a final push for the win. Like, when you surrender just because you're down, you give up so many opportunities for yourself. You give up easy league points, you know. Well, not really easy, but you have to fight for the win. But you just can't surrender. And t like, the game is over when the Nexus blows up. Don't make the game over just because you're down an, an inhibitor and they just got Baron. You can fight that out if you play well. Especially in low elo, they will make mistakes. You will capitalize on these mistakes and you will win. So I guess that's my uh, don't surrender tirade. I'll try to get my other game up about um. I'll try to get my other game up soon. Thanks for watching.